Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and having a great day. So today we have news from Rock Bank, R-A-K Bank. Um, this is a bank located in the United Arab Emirates. They have announced a partnership with Ripple to enable cross-border payments to their customers in India. It will be done over RippleNet and will allow, as they say, live rapid payments to customers in Axis Bank, which is in India. So the chief executive of Rock Bank, Peter England, says that using the uh, power Ripple to power international payments will allow customers to send money back home easily and in real time, while also allowing the bank to expand their remittance footprint. This partnership actually follows closely behind another partnership between Ripple and remittance operator UAE Exchange, who apparently has a presence in over 30 countries, who also joined Ripple in order to take advantage of what they say is their instant cross-border payments. So next up, we have news about a blockchain startup known as Nivora, N-I-V-A-U-R-A, I guess it's Nivora, I have no idea, honestly who starting today will start their first bond, which will be denominated entirely in Ether. Even better, not only will it be transacted in Ether, the bond will also be cleared, settled, and registered entirely on the Ethereum blockchain. So this has been done under the watchful eye of the, the uh, FCA. The British Financial Conduct Authority is being issued through the company Lux Deco, L-U-X-D-E-C-O. Um, the credit rating firm Moody, who also aided in the pricing of the bond and was also created with the help of JP Morgan, along with law firms who made sure that this was legally compliant using Ethereum smart contracts. Whoa, okay, so it seems a major part of the goal of this was actually to uh, see if they're able to cut out the middlemen from the equation when it comes to transactions like this. And they say if it works, they're gonna try and see if crypto funding and crypto trading can become valid options. And if they do, they would also, they said that they plan on looking further into issuing more bonds of this type in the future. That was a lot to say. So not exactly sure how long everyone has actually been into cryptocurrencies, but for those who have been here for a while or who have seen this online, a few years, years ago, there was a huge meeting in New York City um, over the future of cryptocurrencies. And for the bit license talks, they were trying to figure out exactly how to regulate cryptocurrencies it was pretty much a televised meeting where the Winklevoss twins sat there in nice suits and he talked about the upsides of bitcoins and how they were interested in, in making an etf and how they you know always wanted to do this under proper regulation etc cetera, etc cetera. so one of the main people who was on the panel who was there to pretty much listen to the various arguments that were going on in the room was a man by the name of ben losky that is l-a-w-s-k-y if you watch the discussions, it mainly focused around Bitcoin and its uses and people, you know, kept on saying how great it is and what it could do for the future. But at the end of this entire meeting, when everyone was leaving, everyone standing up, everyone shaking hands, there was a man, once again, Ben Losky, who actually not a lot of people heard it for some reason. And I don't know why he actually kind of leans into the microphone as everyone is talking and leaving. He says that he doesn't really care for Bitcoin and that people should actually look into Ripple. So. End of the long explanation, but it gives a bit of context to what is coming next. So Ben Losky, who is the former New York superintendent of financial services, has now officially joined Ripple's board of directors. This is significant because, one, a recent press release about this actually happening says that Losky has done so because he wants to advance not only Ripple, but wants to advance and further its asset XRP, which many people always talk about. This is yet another head of finance who is now backing cryptocurrencies. And lastly, I've said this before in other videos, you guys have to read between the lines. This man, without a doubt, knows bankers. He knows large players in the game. And I'm pretty, I don't know him, but I'm pretty sure after all of this, he owns a large supply of XRP himself. At the end of all of it, money is literally the name of the game. And this man is now looking to push, advise, and forward and grow the same system that he was once looking to regulate. Keep all of that in mind. This is why I am. I know a lot of people don't care for Ripple. I don't really care that you don't care for Ripple. I know that it's going to make a lot of people money. So this is why I talk about their huge moves. Oh, and I almost uh, completely forgot. I officially have over 30,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much. Like really, really, really thank you guys to every single person out there. I honestly cannot thank everyone enough for the support. And here's to fingers crossed um, that cryptocurrency prices continue to rise like they did in 2017. All right, guys, that's definitely gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you might be. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, thank you once again. And I'll talk to you all soon. See you.